Of course, since neurons' jobs are to send and receive information, they can't always be at rest. Changes in the membrane potential of neurons occur where the axon meets the soma or cell body in a region known as the axon hillock. The neuron's membrane potential can change from resting toward a state of inhibition, known as hyperpolarization, or toward a state of action, known as depolarization. First, the neuron can become inhibited, or even less likely to send or receive a message than it was at rest. In other words, the inside becomes even more negative than it was at rest. This change is known as a hyperpolarization, or an inhibitory postsynaptic potential, abbreviated as IPSP. Hyperpolarization is similar to your turning the ringer off on your cell phone. If your friend is trying to call you, you are less likely to receive a message with the ringer turned off than when the phone is sitting idle at rest with the ringer and vibration in the on mode. The flow of negative ions, such as chloride, into the resting neuron, or the flow of positive ions, such as potassium, out of the neuron will result in hyperpolarization. Conversely, the inside of the neuron may become less negative than it was at rest, which is the same as more positive. This change is known as a depolarization, or excitatory postsynaptic potential, abbreviated as EPSP. The flow of positive ions, such as sodium, into the resting neuron will result in depolarization. Unlocking the keypad on your cell phone and typing letters or numbers is similar to depolarization. In order for a neuron to spring into action or send a message, the level of depolarization across the neuron cell membrane must exceed a threshold of excitation. In other words, the depolarization must be big enough beyond a certain level in order for the neuron to change from resting to action. Typing numbers and letters on your cell phone keypad is similar to a depolarization. You are heading in the direction of sending a message, but unless you type in a valid 10-digit phone number and hit send, however, no message will be sent. The valid phone number and the send key are the threshold of excitation. Once you hit send, your message or call has gone out, the action potential has been reached.